mine's back in there. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Invest360. Today is a special episode of Invest360. We're coming live to you on Saturday morning with a bunch of guest hosts. We have our correspondent, Brianna, here. We have Leo. We have Valentina. And we have my co-host, the amazing Carlo. But today we are going to interview fan favorite, Harlem Globetrotter, Trenton-born Lakeisha Sutton. And uh, before we get to Lakeisha, hello, hello, Lakeisha, before we get to her, we're going to have Carlo talk about Happy Smiles and how it's the backbone of Invest360, which was supposed to be a physical event, telling you about how to invest in your community. And we have basically pivoted because of the pandemic and are now talking to people about how to invest in themselves and follow their dreams and their path and get help from people who are already doing it. So yeah. that being said, Carlo, kick it off. Tell about what we do with Happy Smiles, and uh, let's you know learn, let people learn about Lakeisha. Yeah, absolutely, Joe. Great to see you, man. Hi, Brianna. Hey, Lakeisha. Pleasure to meet you. Hi. Um, hey. So, guys. Yeah. So, Happy Smiles um, is a five hundred one c three nonprofit organization um, where we primarily help um, help kids, uh, adults anyone in need. And it primarily started uh, out of the kindness, kindness of our hearts, right? Because we know that all the little things in life really help people out. Um, it's those little things, uh, a smile, um, a gentle touch when somebody needs it, a hug. Um, you're doing a good job today. Stuff like that really helps people through their day. And that's what we're primarily here for. And that's how we started. Now we've grown a lot, a, a lot bigger and we are doing um, different events to help different people throughout our communities. Um, so please be out there and uh, look at us through Facebook and different avenues, Instagram, and check out our events that we have throughout the uh, community. Um, but guys, today we are here with Lakeisha Sutton. Lakeisha, thank you so much for being on today. I'm going to kind of start it off by, uh, you know, just kind of tell us a little bit about yourself and um, where you're from and your background a little bit. Yeah, well, first and foremost, thank you both, um, Joe, all oh, Joe, Brianna, Leo, Valentina, Carlos, uh, for having me because I haven't done an interview in, in over a year, and um, I think just listening to you quickly, Happy Smiles and Invest Three Hundred and Sixty, that's kind of been my mission to invest in my community. I'm born and raised in Trenton, New Jersey. Um, literally traveled the world through my gift, which is basketball. And um, I wanted to come back to, to help the community, to help families um, come together, stay together, and just kind of tap into their best selves. And that's kind of what I do. Um, I am a professional basketball player, uh, most recently with the Harlem Globetrotters. Um, just want to give a big shout out to the Globetrotters because they chose me to be the first uh, female from New Jersey in the 95 year history of the company to, you know, put on that red, white, and blue uniform. Um, and outs outside of basketball and things like that, I'm also an entrepreneur. And I enjoy being able to give back and create jobs for other people in my community. So that's in a nutshell. So the, the fan favorite team, uh, or the fan favorite club. Can you tell us about that? Like what, what like, I, I believe that that's kind of like what, like when you said that's the stuff that you're all about and giving back, can you explain about that? Is that part of your giving back mission? Yeah, absolutely. So fan favorite was a nickname that I earned in college. And um, I, I did so many interviews and I was kind of tired of saying, it's just my nickname. It's my nickname. And I wanted, I wanted it to me more than myself. And so um, really quickly, fan favor is an acronym. Uh, first F is for faith. So faith is uh, first in everything that I do. Um, attitude, uh, no distractions, fruition, um, awareness, vision, opportunity, responsibility, integrity, take risk, and effort. And so 
Okay. Those are the values that I try to instill in, in my kids and the females that I interact with. And then fan favorite club. Honestly, guys, it was supposed to be a version of Hogwarts. I don't know if the kids like Harry Potter, but the fan favorite club was my version of Hogwarts. Um, just to be a safe place for kids to come. Uh, we, we're open 24 seven, so there's always access. Um, more importantly, I had a cousin who passed away in 2016. And I realized in Trenton specifically, there's nowhere for kids to go. Um, it, unless their parents could afford like after school programs or activities and things like that. So I wanted this to be a place where everyone can come, whether you can afford it or you can't, you can find a family here. So fan favorite club. That's awesome. That's, that's really awesome. So, so Lakeisha talk, talking about that and fan favor and where it came from. Um, I saw one of your, um, one of your interviews and podcasts that you did and you, you kind of touched on a little bit because you say get, God gave you a vision. And yeah. when you saw that vision, it was so, so easy to just put it out there. What, what was that vision? I think the vision was to, to be able to give people platform, give opportunities. And literally it started with a t-shirt, right? Like I, I have no background in business. No one in my family is entrepreneur. No one owns a business. Everyone kind of went the traditional nine to five route. And God was like, no, you're going to sell t-shirts and that's going to turn into something bigger. And so this is no lie. I literally Googled like t-shirt printing shop and I went to someplace in Atlanta. I got two t-shirts and I wore those two t-shirts for like five months. Um, and everyone was like, what Foot Locker, what mall, where did you get that from? And so I said, oh, maybe I might be on to something here. But I think what people loved the most wasn't the clothes itself, but the way, the positivity that I like the optimism and just like just being kind and so the vision was to answer it in short just be kind be a representation of kindness and love um and yeah that's kind of how it manifested all right that's awesome so the positivity helped the buy-in for your t-shirt brand absolutely yeah because it wasn't it wasn't never like about me the basketball player i never put my name or my face on anything it was just positive affirmations like this hoodie right here, just saying valuable, you know? So, yeah. And then, like, Carlo, honestly, I didn't know I would have my own facility one day, but I feel like everything that I was thinking about and trying to do, like, by myself, God was like, let me just give you a bigger platform to do it. Let me let me introduce you to people like yourself, you know, you guys, to, yeah. to kind of raise the message and awareness of what you're trying to do. So let me touch on that feeling like, you know, when you sit back like and you look at like what you built and what what the journey and the path that you've come from. Right. Does like what is that feeling like and how can you describe it to people who are who are thirsting and they're they're hungry for that, that, that feeling, that taste, that everything? That's for sure. Um, I would say the feeling is. Um, just grateful. I think that's a good word. Grateful, um, because. A lot of times we have these dreams and these ideas, but we're so afraid to start. We're afraid of failure. And for me, guys, like it was like a basketball court. I'm fearless. So I just said, hey, let me do my research. Let me do my research. Let me invest in myself and take risk. And at the end of the day, if I fail, at least I try, you know. So I think anyone that's listening or that will watch this back, um, God put that vision and that idea on your heart for a reason. So you have to trust it and you can't be afraid. And um, at the same time, I think when you do a good job, you get rewarded more. Just be positive. Cecilia Jackson on LinkedIn says, God's voice is the best. Love it, Lakeisha Sutton. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, so Lakeisha, we're talking about um, fan favorite and your vision and, um, I think part of that vision was um, to have bring internships into your into your community into what you're doing and how, how how's that going? How's that going with inspiring kids and uh, bring them through your program and internship? Yeah, it, it's been it's been beautiful, honestly. But I know last year we gave about maybe fifteen hundred dollars to different um, kids that came through the program um, to help with like dorm dorm. Uh, covers and stuff for college, uh, book fees and paying for classes. Um, but also I think it's, it's amazing when someone comes in and they see the basketball 
And then they look around and like, oh, you do video production? I'm like, yeah, I can. Oh, how do you make your own clothes? And so we're like, hey, let us teach you because you guys know in the world you can either be a creator or a consumer. And there's nothing wrong with being both, but I just want to teach people how to create so that, you know, they can feel that that sense of proud, like pride and ownership, really. That Yeah, that's, that, that's awesome that you're, you know, taking kids under your wing or anybody and showing them how to do it and not just wanting them to come and do it for you. Oh, you know, no, that, it's like, I, I never, did it. we did a commercial and I just reached out to TCA on a whim. I said, hey, do you guys, you guys have any kids interested in media production? And like 15 kids came. And so immediately we're like, okay, we were thinking like two or three were going to come. <laughs> but it was just cool to kind of meet people where they are and give them opportunities. I feel like um, in a job world, people say, hey, you have to have this many years of experience, this many things, this many expectations. And someone, you know, fresh out of college, my only experience was basketball and media. So I didn't have those five years, but I knew how to do the job. It was never a resume. I kind of want to be like someone that gives opportunities for who people are, not, not their background, not their schooling or their years of job. So what about, so you said you, you invited a bunch of kids over from Trenton Catholic and who are interested in video production. You're, you're, so what I'm hearing from fan favorite is you're, you have an outlet and something almost for everybody who yep. know, like what their interests are. And that, that's great. Now this generation, obviously now I, I'm going to, I'm going to pivot to the kids for a second. How many of you like to play Roblox or something on your iPad or video games? You guys like to play on your iPad? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So now we have kids who are basically probably into like e-gaming and e-sports and, right. and things of that nature. And coincidentally, you were awarded by the Smith Family Foundation. Mm -hmm. And Tyrell Smith and I, we've been in discussion for the longest time along with uh, – some other people and Carter Patterson over at the United Family Partners or the Father Center in Trenton. He's already kind of doing it, but we wanted to do some kind of like esports type of thing for kids because that's another thing that they can venture into. Right. And companies out there like uh, Trenton's own actually and now moved over to Miami and uh, the NFT guy, Mike Mamula, he's also part of this thing called the North American Collegiate League that offers scholarships for esports so this is like definitely like something that like you know fan favorite you know like you know in collaboration with everyone we we could definitely look into to provide outlets for you know kids in the video games what do you yeah, think okay, for sure let me know if i can support partner whatever is needed let me know because a lot of times um we try to well i can speak from experience I have a niece and a nephew. I have a lot of nieces and nephews, but I have custody of, of one of my nieces. And mm -hmm. everyone's like, oh, are you going to make her play basketball? And I'm like, no. Like, she's going to do whatever that she likes and she's passionate about. And she is just like your kids with the iPad all day. So I think it's great that you guys are aware that we have to kind of cater to what they want, not what we want for a kid. So that's, that's awesome. You guys are. So, so let me ask the kids again, just so. Bless you, by the way. Uh, um, what is it that you, you use want to be when you grow up? Let's start with Valentina. Valentina, what do you want to be when you grow up? I'm a makeup artist. A makeup artist. Okay. What about you, Leo? What do you want to be when you grow up? Good. See you later. Good. Whatever you want to be. You want us to come back to you? Think about it. Um, <laughs> okay, we'll come back to Leo. He's thinking about it. Brianna, what do you want to be when you grow up? Um, a singer. A singer? That's oh. awesome. All right. Awesome. So now. Yeah. What? Go ahead. Leo wants to say something. Go ahead. Just put in sidewalks everywhere. Put in what? Sidewalks everywhere. He wants to, be, he wants to put sidewalks everywhere. Leo, okay. did you get that from your dad? No, he. That's the first time I heard this. Oh, he wants, 
<laughs> he, he wants to put sidewalks everywhere. I guess there's not enough sidewalks for people to walk. No, and it's going to stack them on every sidewalk stuff so it becomes big and then everyone has to climb and everything <laughs> and then they have to hop it sounds like an adventure park to me <laughs> <laughs> so my niece zoe would love to hang out with brianna and valentina because she too wants to be a makeup artist she said that first out of her own mouth and a singer okay yeah, that's, that's awesome so let, let's let's see so like what are you doing right now to like kids to to like be on that path like for instance valentina do you play makeup on your dolls and stuff like that <laughs> I do you make up on my own she does makeup on her own on do her you doll. do makeup on on uh, on 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 your dad carlo no <laughs> i'll put it on my cousins dad sometimes what you remember when you put nail polish on your foot i do remember that um, yeah. daddy um, okay talk to them Go ahead. i put it on my cousin. You put it on your cousin. She practices on her cousin, right? Well, sometimes <laughs> I do it if you're cute. And Brianna, what do you, what do you do? Do you do you uh, do you sing in the, in do you, do you give us an audience uh, like make us be your audience? Do you sing for us? Well, and it showers sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so, and you also dance, right? Yes. That's fun. So, and and Leo, like so. You want to put sidewalks and stuff together. Do you play with Legos and things like that and blocks? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes I even, <laughs> sometimes I, yeah, today I'm probably going to um, build something out of blocks and I'm going to get my Nerf gun and shoot it down. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Sounds like a plan. And this is probably going to happen after your basketball games, right? After the basketball games or before. It's not till 1 o'clock, so we got some time, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so Lakeisha, having heard that, like how like that's the kind of impact you're having on kids with fan favorite. And how does that make you feel like, you know, like knowing that like this is the kind of thing that you know we should be looking out for and what is your takeaway from that? Yeah, well well Bri Brianna, Leo, Valentina, you guys just inspire me to like have like a, a a talent show or something where kids that want to sing could just come practice, meet other kids, and just perform for your parents or something small and intimate. Um, Let's go. Put it together. Let's put it together. <laughs> <laughs> kids that want to just try out makeup and then they do like a fashion show thing and just make it fun. I feel like, you know, literally, I literally traveled almost everywhere in the, in the world, not just the States. And there's so many different cultures that buy into it. Oh, and I feel like yeah. we hit college like, for adults and it's not too late, but if <laughs> want, we've got to give them opportunities to do that and practice it and showcase it. So I think, oh, like you guys gave me like three different ideas. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. So I, I had to hear, I had to, I have to ask that question because we had, we had a little bit of interference. Now, was that your ringtone? My phone? Yeah. That was mine, Joe. Oh, so that, that's awesome that I just got to hear Don't Worry, Be Happy as a ringtone. That, that's oh, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so I love it because, what you know, what I do in home inspections and stuff, you know, you're going through a house and you're talking to people and that ringtone goes. I'm like, don't worry, guys. Be happy. Everything's going to be all right. <laughs> hey, listen, in the middle of my home buying process and I'm just like, God bless everybody that's going through this because it's interesting, you know. Yeah, and there's a, a lot. Yeah, I was, just, I was just like, when people ask me what I want to do, I always wanted to to get into some type of, like, contracting. But with basketball, it's like if you're not a certain age, then you kind of age out of interning. So I think it's great, you know, to always just be a lifelong learner of anything. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, talking about that, Lakeisha, right, lifelong learning, the future, where do you see fan favorite in, in the, few, the next few years, the next five years? Where do you see it going? Oh, honestly, I, I see it um, maybe in every community, like some some type of capacity, uh, whether it's an actual building or just like online. Just kids coming together, uh, learning how to use their voice, learning how to be kind and express who they are and what they want to do. And then the adults in a situation kind of providing those opportunities. So I definitely, like, we're not... We're, I'm not trying to be like a YMCA or a Boys and Girls Club. It's not just recreation. It's literally just teaching um, 
leadership and how to, you know, understand business in the world. So I yeah, think I, so. I, that's so important. I think that's one of the things that is lacking, lacking in our uh, communities and is that leadership and just development of life in general, you know, because not everybody and I see it in my industry and just around that, you know, not everybody's wanting to go to college and pursue pursue that that path. And there's a right. lot of different paths out there that people can pursue. But without that leadership and guidance from a mentor or somebody, it's really hard to achieve those goals, even with just taking classes. So, yeah, thank you for doing that. It's like yeah. beautiful because even when um, like at first my name was going to be like fan favorite university. Right. And then everyone's like, no, Princeton might get mad because they're like at a credit. So I said, OK, OK, OK. Let's just make a fan favorite club, but C L U B stands for creating leaders who understand business. So Ooh, I, I like it's that. Cool to to be able to talk about leadership because it's you know we need it. Creating that's leaders awesome. who understand business. That's awesome. Yep. I, I like that. That's Thanks. that's awesome. Yep. Now I have a question. So you uh you you went from Trenton Catholic. And uh, tell us about your time there. What, what were some? Who were some of your uh, impactful teachers or even coaches there? Um, so my TCA days, I would definitely first start off by giving credit to my coach, Khalik Lewis. I don't know if you guys heard of him, but he was he is the most winningest coach in McCorson's history. Um, won about eight MCT championships, six state championships, DOT. Sent over thirty of us to high D one colleges. So. I give all my credit to him, my coach, my first coach ever. But my favorite teachers were obviously Ms. Baby, um, Ms. McCarthy, um, the librarian. I love the library, like Matilda. Um, really anybody. You know, TCA is a small school. And, again, I think I represented the kid that was a great athlete but a, an even better student. So I got along with all my teachers. I love the school. I love learning education so tca is a very happy memory for me uh i'd like to give a shout out real quick to uh my brother uh, tracy syfax who said creative leaders that understand business uh tracy thank you for joining and uh being part of this so and he said he loves the the creative leaders that understand business so thank you thank you i love what he's doing as well we spoke on a panel together about two years ago and i was so inspired i'm looking at him like wow you did all of that yeah, it's he's definitely an inspiration, and like every time I talk to him, it's a new experience. He, girl, amazing person. That yeah, that learning. Yep. Um. So you you shouted out Miss Fabian. You shouted out your coach, uh, Coach Lewis. Um. So what were what was your, some of your favorite experiences from of course, then like or Trenton Catholic? I'm sorry, I'm aging myself. <laughs> yeah, I think I just I loved English class. Because we can like, read out the parts and the plays and act them out. Um, I, I wasn't, I'm going to be honest, I wasn't really like a math or science kid uh, then. Um, but now I'm like, I wish I would have been paying attention more, like more engaged. Um, but no, I just enjoyed getting on the bus, just regular kid stuff, wearing the uniform, going to the other sporting games. Um, they had home ec class, in class, and stuff like that. Um, when I think of PCA, I about just making history. Like, we had the first ever TV game and girls history. So boys are girls. So that was cool, having MSG come down and film senior year. Um, and then, as always, the game with Trip High, where, like, no one could get in the game and packed out. So those are pretty some of my fond memories. You had home mech? Yeah, we did. <laughs> Only yeah, one. We, we had <laughs> Yeah, we were making like cupcakes and cookies, but I thought it was cool. They 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 canceled that like the, right before my senior year. I was like, oh, there goes my elective. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> um, yeah, I, one of my favorite things at McCorson or Trenton Catholic was um, the mock trial competition. I, I was in high school. I wanted to be a lawyer so bad, and uh, I uh, was led in a direction to go criminal justice at uh, Mercer County, and that put, like, the worst taste in my mouth whatsoever. <laughs> Joe, you would have made a great lawyer. Uh, thank you, Carla. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
But um, apparently, uh, you know, people, once they hear lawyer, they put you in that box of like criminal attorney or something like that. And that's, I think, contract law or something like that would have been something I would have probably been more good at. Yeah. Arlo, where did you go to school? I, I grew up in uh, North Jersey a little bit, Woodbridge High School. Okay. Woodbridge. Traveled, yeah, traveled down to South Brunswick High School and graduated from there. Do you have any um, like memories? What was that? Do you have any like happy memories from high school? Absolutely. I mean, I played um, I played soccer going through school, okay. so a lot of my a lot of my memories come come from that. Um, just mm -hmm. the the teamwork and being together with the kids in the hall. You know, my some of my fo fondest memories was you know game day, right? Everybody getting pumped up and, yeah. and getting ready to play, and just the camaraderie and everybody. You know, come on, guys, come on, we're gonna do this today. You know, especially on like a championship day like today, like you have just like just what's going through your head and everybody being so positive and getting everybody going. I've always, you know, and, you know, part of my thing with happy smiles too, I think maybe stems from that too. Just, you know, <laughs> seeing that camaraderie when everybody's positive and the things that can happen when people are positive, like it's, it's incredible. And I wish everybody could live that live like that. Like it's right. the championship day game and getting everybody pumped up. Why can't we do that every day for everybody? Yeah. I think, I think you know, that's awesome. That's my goals as a coach, like during the games, if a mistake is made, I'm not like yelling or calling out the obvious. I'm like, next play, it's okay, keep going. Um, and then like after the games, we have like this circle where everyone just has to compliment someone. Like we don't even do negative talk. It's just like, we'll fix it. We'll move on, we'll fix it. Right. So that's right. cool that the name of your foundation is Happy Smiles because it, it makes you smile just reading it out loud. Like it's, right. <laughs> you know? I think it's cool. Thanks. Thank I think you. Valentina wants to ask a question here. Go ahead, Valley. Go ahead. Why do you like basketball so much? Why do I like basketball so much? Honestly, when I was a kid, uh, it was just very like interesting. I was like, how does this ball go into that hoop thing? Oh, swish, right? Yeah, like I, I honestly, Val Valentina, it was natural for me, like. Makeup is easy for you, right? You like it a lot. And so basketball was, like, very easy for me. It didn't feel hard. I was happy. It made me smile. And so I just kept doing it. So I hope you continue to do makeup. Okay. Do you have any questions? Mm, I think so. What was the one that you asked me this morning about uh, spinning a ball? Or Can you spin a ball on your finger? Yeah, let me see. Let me go grab a ball real quick. Let's see. Oh, that's a good question. I want to see that. Leo, if you want to I see spin that? the ball, will you sing a little bit or not yet? Ah, that's good. <laughs> nope, right. If you if she spins a ball, will you sing a little bit? Maybe. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I, I'll think about it. We're not gonna film you in the shower singing. <laughs> okay. I, okay. I have a question. I have a different question. What's your favorite song to sing? Oh, oh she's going somewhere. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know if you guys could see, but it's an event. Oh event. wow! That's why I look. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. Crazy, we was up all night decorating for this event. That's why you responded. So I was like, All right, okay, we yeah. Got some I, was, I was like, I'm gonna get on, but I was like, I gotta finish doing this thing first. So, let's see here. All right, one second, Brianna, come back. And I'll, I'll Leo, I'll teach you this, so I'll, I'll make sure you're the coolest kid in your school. Well, here we go. So, here she goes, go just like this. Whoa, be confident again. This and you just flick it like that. Whoa. That's cool. <laughs> I'll teach. I'll teach it to you. I'll spin the ball on your finger during our like singing competition, our Legos construction sidewalk event. I'll teach. You <laughs> Does that sound good? Yeah, it sounds so awesome. Her favorite song to sing. I don't know if you see it. It's the. Uh... Sorry, Valentina. What were you saying? No, no, go ahead. Go ahead, Leo was talking to me. Go ahead. Oh, her favorite her favorite CD is uh, Adele. And what's your favorite song? Say it. All right. Easy on me. Oh, wow. That's a good song right there. 
I tell you, when we're in the car and she and that song comes on, like uh, we we actually lower the radio just to hear her sing a little bit. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Joe. I'm glad she's got a CD there. Yes, we uh, <laughs> we we keep it old school here. Keep it old school over there. <laughs> well, the only CD that's not old school is the Encanto CD. Uh, okay. <laughs> she she just schooled me. <laughs> hey, that reminds me of a, a happy memory from high school, being able to make CDs, exchange CDs, mixtapes and stuff like that. LimeWire, putting viruses on your computer, all that. Oh, right. yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fun time, though. Yeah, I, I miss being able to do I mean, you can still, you may still make, uh, you know, your mixes and stuff, right? Just in a different way. <laughs> yeah, it's cool how everything just comes back in a different form. Yeah. Tracy Syfax came back on and said Lakeisha is an awesome young is an awesome young leader. It was an honor to share the stage with her. Thank you. I'm I'm trying to um join his next like class. I, I always see it late on Facebook. You know how social media shows you like the same two people things all the time? Yeah. So I have to turn my notifications on for all of you guys to be engaged and kind of stay stay hip. What I would suggest is start liking people whose posts you no won't normally like mm -hmm. and it switches up the algorithm of what you see in your news feed. Okay. So, that, so that's, my IT, that's my IT, uh, I, IT thing there. <laughs> <laughs> so, so speaking of you, um, you, you mentioned something earlier and you were talking about like, uh, you, you took a, uh, you adopted your niece, correct? Yep. Yep. Process. So, and I believe you brought them to the state of the city address, uh, like I think it was uh, this year. And uh, Mayor Reed, Gussie Orr, called you out and you know, thank you for being there. Yeah, she was asleep on my arms. I'm like, Shh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it was it was definitely cool to see and uh, see you there. Actually, um, I should have probably introduced myself then, but <laughs> no, it's all that happens when it's supposed to. So Keisha, grow, growing up with your uh, with your brothers, how did they? Uh, I'm sure having brothers made you grow up a lot quicker. Um, <laughs> how, <laughs> you lot. know, become a better basketball player and all that. How did how, how was so, that growing up and uh, with them? And how how did they uh, make you better? So believe it or not, so okay, so I have five, but my brothers were horrible at basketball. So I <laughs> brothers. But I do think that, you know, them just being boys and going out to the park and staying out all day. I, I'm, just, I'm the only girl, so I was just there. And, um, you know, they, were, they didn't play me because they weren't that good at basketball when we were younger. Um, but I do feel like they just made me tougher because we would, like, wrestle. We fought over, like, our video games and, like, Nintendo. And, like, if you lose, you got to get up. So I used to always have to kind of wait my turn. But... Uh, having brothers definitely made me more competitive. Um, it helped me with my social skills a bit more. And um, yeah, now they would they wouldn't dare in front of me on a basketball court. But it, <laughs> so it's, two, two takeaways from that. So the first off is is that because of the competitiveness with your brothers, there's still an opportunity for us to see you on uh, WWE or AEW. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> you never know. That's a good avenue there. <laughs> I don't know. I see myself more like a, a like, like a millennial Oprah, like some type of like just going. To, I love going to schools and doing assemblies. I love that. Just meeting different kids, listening to their dreams and stuff like that, and just kind of staying in touch. They're like, they're like, oh, I see you on Google and YouTube, and I'm like, yeah, take my number, call me if you need anything. <laughs> That's kind of so, cool. so, and then the second part of that is, is what you reminded me was when you said your brothers were horrible at basketball, it reminded me of the uh, 30 for 30 with Reggie Miller, where, uh, he, where he would like, it's, Sharp Miller was like, oh, he was horrible. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> My brother, played, um, they tried out like football and stuff like that. But, you know, like I said earlier, Joe, sports isn't for everyone. So. Yeah. All right. I'm the lone. I'm the lone only like sport athlete, really. But but let me ask you: Have they thanked you yet for making them better at basketball? No, it's been in this interview, so they can make me think. What was that? Sorry. 
I said, no, I should send them this interview so they could give me my thanks. <laughs> so I think they said that when I needed my brothers the most, when I, when God gave me this idea and this vision, I told you guys, I'm very honest. I had no type of like creativity. Well, this was not, but I said, I need a logo. I need this digitized. Send it over to them. They sent it right back. So I can never repay them for, for me. That's awesome. That's awesome. Do, do you work on, uh, you know, in, in your um, fan favorite club, are you are you hitting that point, like, with uh, siblings and teaching uh, siblings how to work with each other? And Yeah, we're um, – it's, it's always funny because a parent will come and say, hey, my kid is interested. And then the, the sibling will sit and watch. And they it's like a party when you come here. I try to – I don't know if it's the Globetrotter in me, but it's, it's music. It's fun. It doesn't feel hard. It's not stressful. And I think they like that environment. And instead of making it so competitive between brother and sister, we'll make them on the same team so they don't know how to talk to each other. Or like, I'll say, hey, you know, your, your dad is like my, my best friend, so I need you to be a little bit more kind to your dad. You know? So I just kind of use those those moments to teach about relationship building. And I think it's cool, you know? So let's plug right now fan favorite. Where can they find fan favorite? Where can they uh where can they contact? Are you available for parties? Is there like uh things of that nature? Let let's you know let's let's give uh, your business a shout out here. Yeah, so um everything is fanfavoritclub.com, um at fanfavorite club on the on social media. We are located right in Hamilton on Whitehead Road. Okay. Um, right across from the Rock Rock Hill climbing place. Okay. Um, and yeah, like we're open 24 uh, seven. I'm available for party rentals, meeting, um, pretty much anything. We have like sometimes um, drive-in movie theaters. We just drop down a screen. The kids think it's the coolest thing ever. Um, yeah, it's just anything that you guys have an idea for that someone might need space for, please consider check out the fan favorite. <laughs> Yeah, Carla, it looks like we're going to have to pay a visit there with our little kiddos. Yeah, that I, think, I think we're going to have to do a trip and do a, uh, another, a new, do a live there. That would be awesome. Yeah, really. That would be awesome. That would be cool. And, Joe, I, I, I think we got to do a little one-on-one -on -one basketball. All right. So just don't be disappointed with my outside, outside shot. I mean, my uh, defensive game is clutch, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I believe it's it. like a game where – if you guys bring you guys all right that'd be fun that'd be that'd be a lot of fun absolutely i i can't i actually can't wait <laughs> <laughs> so um what if there is let me ask you this because I, i've been on this kick of it in for for a little bit but with everything you're doing do you think that that is on a path of your why and or what is your why if that's not the case? Um, I think that I think that I'm definitely walking in my purpose every day. Um, I, I realized I realized when I was in high school that I was more than just a basketball player. Um, and so I feel like my my why my purpose is just to educate and to, to be a walking representation of um, of God and faith and just kind. I want people that me or that experience me to walk away a little bit more kind or like just more happy. Like it's just, you know, and, and don't get me wrong. There's, you know, anything in life, there's ups and downs. There's good days, there's bad days. But when you remember that it's not about you and you have a, a, a gift to give away, or you have someone to educate or, the same way that people poured into me, I have to now do the same. Um, that keeps me going every single day. So definitely feel like that's my purpose, just to kind of educate and to just love on people. That's that's beautiful. That, that's very beautiful. So um, the, the, and like just, just for the fact of it touching on self-inspection, Carlo, I think you, you, you got a nice one about self-inspection yeah so so you know self-inspection hat as a, uh, an inspector and then on, on the weekends and um throughout the week you know we try to um self-inspect right and that's so important i think in life to to just think about how your week's going and to look at what you're doing how important do you think self-inspection is 
um, and success and just in, in life? Well, I think the, I like that question. It's uh, success is, I think, whatever you think it is. If that's, hey, I woke up today and I got to work on time or I got to school on time, you're successful. If success is, hey, I, I did my homework, I handed it in, that's success. Mm -hmm. But I think it's very important to self-inspect because the world moves so fast. Media is TV, is family, is being a parent. Um, and a lot of times, you just got to take time to breathe and say, is this what I want to do? Why am I doing this? So I never heard that phrase before. Definitely gonna. Use, I might use that in my pregame speech. Actually, I like it. I like it. What self inspection? Yeah, self inspection. So uh, we at Vital on social media. If you follow Vital, every Saturday and Sunday we do a self inspection Saturday and Sunday. I'm and, definitely. Uh, so uh, you know it ties in with being a home inspection company and so uh you know sometimes like you know you want to make sure that your audience and the people following your page aren't just hearing what your business does but kind of be relatable give them optimism and so forth so right, right. i think i think that's how also um when i first started it, it wasn't really the t-shirts because anybody could press on a shirt or whatever it was more like i was showing people you know, the journey of going to get it, wearing it, selling it, you know, like um, bad experiences with printers who didn't do my order correctly. So I was just like a walking open blueprint for anyone that kind of wanted to take the same path. Mm -hmm. And I, a lot of times what I've found, um, people that are successful, they never successful alone. And so there's someone kind of like in the back, which is okay, or they're, Saying, hey, I made a mistake doing this. I failed at this. And so people are learning from other people's mistakes. I think that's really cool. Yeah. Even during a pandemic, right? I'm only going on year two, but my first, this is literally how it went. I was on tour with the Globe Trotters, and then, you know, I was in London and Germany doing PR. Came home, hey, there's a warehouse. Let me take a risk. I saved all my money, and then I was able to get in here. No lie, like three months later, COVID hit. So I'm like, what? And so I never really was even able to kind of promote, market, bring people in because we were stuck at home anyway. And I had to self-inspect. I had to say, hmm, I didn't open this just for it to be um, money, money, make money, 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 basketball, basketball. I was like, people need somewhere to be loved, learn how to love, learn how to use their gifts and express themselves. And so when everyone was kind of like freaking out because of the pandemic and like, you know, small businesses, we took a big hit. But I said, you know what? I'll invest every dollar I have to keep this door open because I know that it's going to turn over. And when it does, the world will be better for it. So it's been it's been an interesting journey for sure. See, that's that right there is inspiring in itself because, like, obviously, the the frequencies that both uh, you're operating on and Invest360 are operating on are in line. Because, like, that was we started off as what was supposed to be an event to teach people how to invest in their communities. And it all started with an idea of just driving around seeing bladed homes. And it was like, well, what if we teach people how to flip them and how hop? possibly at this networking event, have people construct teams together to go ahead and do this in the community. Right. Yeah. So we're, we're kind of making a mechanism. Well, like you said, COVID hit and we are like, well, we, we can't have this event now. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we just decided this thing where we just wanted to inspire and help people just like you are with, with what you're doing. And that's, that's great. Uh, we definitely relatable. Yeah. It was a no brainer for me because when, COVID hit, I immediately, I was like, hey, we should do like Zooms and just like, you know, just let kids just go like this and just, just get them connected because that's that's tough, you know? And so I literally watched everyone around me. They were like charging, like arm and a leg for a 30 minute Zoom workout. And we were like, I was like, we're gonna do it free. It's not about money. Kids gotta get active. They have to see each other and meet other kids. And I thought it was cool to see kids from all over like, it's maybe five o'clock here in Hamilton, but it was like three o'clock in the morning in Ecuador or New Zealand and kids were like 
try not to bounce the ball because their parents are asleep. But I, I just think it's cool. It's all about relationships, just building relationships and new friendships. So I said, no matter, you know, how successful this becomes, God willing, we're still going to have that give back aspect because, you know, coming from Trenton, a lot of people helped my mom help me get through, you know, high school and rec ball and different things like that. You know, a single parent of five. So I have to always I, back. I completely understand that. Yeah. And, and I like that you said there, it's all about building relationships. Yeah, for um, sure. Because you're a hundred percent right. I mean, it's, I mean, to, to put that off to the kids and show them that that's what life is about pretty much is build relationships to, that'll last for, forever. So yeah. the, cool, the cool takeaway that I got from that is, is that during the pandemic, Lakeisha wasn't just a Harlem Globe trotter. She was wow. a, a World Wide Web trotter. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. <walking> in <laughs> like places from Ecuador and so forth like that just to see these uh, live videos that were for free at that, that, and that right there is, you know, yeah. when the Smith family foundation gave you that award, that, that was just a piece of like, just amazingness that you deserve for just for that. So that that's awesome. Yeah, de definitely yeah. Have about the Smith family there. You guys can see it, but that, that was, um, that was very humbling that experience the war show, because I think I was the youngest person in the room. And I felt like it was just a glimpse of my testimony, you know, like, hey, I didn't do this for awards or recognition. I really felt there's a need to just help, you know, and, and if I could do it through this capacity, which is basketball at first, you know how they say, like, you give kids the medicine and the candy. I was like, yeah, we'll do basketball. But then we're also going to talk about, like, hey, how's your grades in school? How do you talk to teachers? What's your relationship like with your parents? Because those are things that you don't really learn about unless you have a, you know, you're learning it in your household. So it's cool. Um, we have a user who asks, you are grounded in faith. How do you impart that to the kids? Um, Definitely just, just being a walking example. Um, and, and I, I grew up going to Muslim temples. My basketball coach was Muslim. So I went to temples. I was also at, at Christian churches, went to Catholic schools. And so, it, it was never really about religion, just right is right and wrong is wrong. And so I try to show kids that by my actions, by how I interact with people. Like when people walk in, how are you? Outstanding. I'm doing great. Like, and it just sounds better than, okay, I'm good. And so I just try to, you know, lead by example. Um, and also just talking about God and faith, like unapologetically, because everyone doesn't get religion in, in school or, you know, church and stuff like that. So if you come here you see it like it's you know i'm not i'm not ashamed of you know what i believe in and that's that's god and faith, so that's, that's how. awesome that's awesome um i think we're, we're gonna ask like maybe two final questions before the intermission and then we're gonna go with the rapid fire questions because i know you, you you know your time is valuable too um so the first question is now we didn't touch on your your time at South uh, University of South Carolina under coach uh, Don Staley who's assistant also of I, I cringe saying it Eagles running back Deuce Staley <laughs> but uh like I um how, what was your experience like uh with University of South Carolina how how did that help um I just think of growth a lot of growing um Again, first person in my family to to go to college that far away. My brother graduated from Howard, my older brother. Um, but again, you know, she she came in to see another player and she walked out like, I want Lakeisha Sutton. And so I tell people, you never get a second chance to make a first impression. Had no idea she was even watching a game, but went to South Carolina. Um, I did well on the court, but I struggled a lot. Like the preseason workouts, like, it's just like lifting weights, running on the track. Um, not because I wasn't capable, but no one had prepared me for, hey, this is what college basketball is like. These yeah. are the expectations. Like I said earlier to Valentina, I just had a natural gift. So I got through with just being naturally gifted and, you know, being smart and learning how to play the game. Um, and my first four years at South Carolina, we were losing. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. Like the first year, 
we were like 10 and 18. I said, Coach Daly, I'm about to go back home. I'm about to go to Princeton. I got recruited by all Ivy Leagues. And she said to me, she was like, no, you have to have faith. Like, you have to believe. Trust me, I'll get more players here. Because that was she was new as well. You know, she inherited mm -hmm. a program that was known for losing. So I just, you know, I took the hits. And I was her first player. People don't know this, but I was her first player to stay with her four years. Everyone else would come and leave. and wow. And so that showed me that when people get adversity, you can't run from it. You got to just kind of adjust and just keep going because if you hit like if this is a a mountain right and i just run into it i could stop or i could just keep going and then once you get over on the other side it's beautiful so that's kind of what i think of south carolina that's that's great um definitely a great character uh re revelation for you as well mm -hmm. um so is there anything before we uh, get to the rapid fire questions in, in the intermission, is there anything that you want to give, like, for instance, to the kids watching, to the ones who will watch later, anything about what their aspirations are, any advice you can impart on them about, you know, following their dreams? Yeah, definitely. My advice to the kids would be just have fun, um, believe in yourself. Uh, no, it's okay to be different. If you love Legos and that's your thing, be the best Lego builder ever, Leo. Um, Valentina, if you like doing makeup, do your dad's makeup every day if he'll let you. Do do your mom's makeup. Just keep practicing. Um, Brianna, if you like to sing, sing in a shower, sing in a car, sing when you wake up. And and don't be afraid because like you guys have those special gifts and you guys are interested in those things for a reason. So just again, just have fun with it. Don't be afraid to be different and and believe in yourself like that's really my that's that's my secret to success like i just yeah. i believe in myself so much and i was i was okay with being different like i, I didn't try to be like everybody else so yeah uh, i like that one shirt you had it says uh i believe in me right yeah that's i wish you guys you guys gotta come check me out one day <laughs> mantra when you first walk in it says i believe in me really big i like that Yep. So um, now this will be the last. Kids, do you have any questions that you would ask, like to ask Lakeisha before we go to the intermission? Val, you have any questions for her? Hmm? Anything you want? Uh, I don't have any. You don't have any? Val, Leo? I also want to be a teacher. Oh, she said she also wants to be a teacher. That's amazing. <laughs> Why do you want to be a teacher? Because then we can color all day. <laughs> I think that's cool. I think one day when you guys come, we should make a video and like she can do my makeup and then me and Brianna can sing and then we'll just make it fun. And I'll bring my niece to six. There we go. That'd be, that very, that'd be a lot of fun. That would be What's cool. your question, Bri? Who's your hero and why? That's an awesome question. Wow. Oh, that's a good question. Okay, so my hero um outside of my mom with someone named nipsey hustle oh yeah he is a entrepreneur he's a business owner he was a musician and i say he's my hero because when i was in college i tore my meniscus so i basically my leg was very messed up and I'll listen to his music over and over and over. And he inspired me to keep going. And when God gave me the vision to start my t-shirt line, I had no idea about business, but listening to his music taught me how to build a brand. And so that's why he's my hero. And he's also like right here on the wall. Wow. Nice. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so Brianna, if you if you keep singing, maybe you can write some inspiring songs to teach other kids how to keep going. I already know a song. I already know one. You do? But it's secret. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. But whenever you're ready to put it out there. She <laughs> says she's not telling you until she grows up. <laughs> hey, I'll be your number one fan. I'll buy all your CDs. You hear that? Wow. 
You already got a fan. All you got to so one day we're gonna Carla will plan it. We'll go visit uh all, all of us to the fan favorite. Absolutely. All right. So we're gonna do something. Uh, we're gonna go to intermission, but the intermission is actually gonna be a we're gonna have rapid fire questions after the intermission. Rapid fire questions are fun questions that puts Lakeisha on the spot. <laughs> so um but before we do that, we're gonna go. We're gonna show a music video during the uh, the intermission. It's called "Rise and Grind" by Supreme. Uh, he's a Philadelphia hip hop artist who's all about positivity as well. Love that. Cool. All right. So here we go. Yeah, time to get up. Yeah. Ah. Get up, get up, and be somebody. Get up, get up, and be somebody. Yeah. Rise and shine, everybody. Oh, yeah. Get up, get out and be somebody. Get up, get out and be somebody. It's been a minute since I felt this way. Yeah. When the stars lined up, things going my way. Like the sun came out so the kid could play. It's been dark for a while, but I smiled each day. She puts the work in when I wanted to say. To hell with it all, but to God I pray. Give me the strength to stay strong today. To stay ten toes down, don't bend the break. Don't fall victim to the storm of fate. Be untouchable like an armor plate. No weapon form should ever harm my face. I was put in this place to be strong and great. No negativity can stall my case. Nothing you can throw whatever scar on my face I fight every day to run a righteous race And hit the finish line at a lightning pace yeah. Rise and grind a new day to shine A brand new 24 to leave the past behind Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Again, that was Supreme De Resurrecta from Philadelphia. Many of you might, might remember him from that TV show that was on public access called Urban Expressions. Uh, he uh, definitely is someone who's been around the industry for a while, too, and spreading positivity. So that brings us to the rapid fire questions. First question. Do we have like a time limit or no? Uh no, it, it they're, they're so rapid that you don't even need, you don't even press start on the time clock. Oh, it's, so over. I'm saying all the questions. Oh, do you know what the questions are? No, you have to tell me. Okay, first one. Is that what I have to say? Yeah. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, time to get up. <laughs> there you go. She is thought it, she was on Zoom. She pushed a space bar to talk. <laughs> what was it again? Oh. Is it called pork roll or, or Dale or ham? Pork roll. Good, good, good. Yeah. Do you remember any of the other questions, Carla? Why don't you ask Valentina to ask one? You can ask. Okay. 
Giants or the Eagles? Oh, um, 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 um Eagles. <laughs> Only those two, Carlos. Seriously, that's it. That's it. We're not, we're not putting the Cowboys in there. <laughs> not a big football like. I'm I'm a I'm not a big football fan, but a lot of my friends from Carolina are in the NFL. So whatever day they're playing on, that's the team I'm going. For. That's that's <laughs> fair. That's fair. Shout out to Jason Dimash, who was a former <laughs> guest of ours from Hamilton West. That's and cool. The Cincinnati Bengal. That's cool. So, um, all right. The next question is, hmm, what what, what should it be? Oh yeah, wait. wait. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. Well, I'm going to make up my own question. All right, go for it. How, well, in the meantime, while you're thinking of it, I'll ask this one. Is Trenton, Central Jersey, South Jersey, or North Jersey? Central. Huh. Did you say Central? Yeah. Good. All right, cool. Is it right? Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I got one here. Um, in the Trenton area or wherever, what's your um, favorite coffee spot? Um, if you drink coffee. I have to admit, I'm not a coffee girl. But I do enjoy going to um, Starbucks downtown because they have a lot of different activities there. Do you guys have like a preferred coffee spot? My house. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Starbucks when when I, I have to, it. or uh, I got it. I'm the weird one who gets the uh, Dunkin' it. Donuts black coffee, no I got sugar. It. Yeah, I got it. You can you can meet me and Joe usually Sunday mornings about eight a.m. seven thirty eight at Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's your next question, Bree? Um, wait, oh. okay. Tell me. Would you rather? Read or would you rather read or be bookless? Read, read. Look at all my books right here. Whoa! I love to read. She said she believes all of them may be about basketball and Harry Potter. Is that true? Nope. They are. What's your favorite? Oh wow. Leapfrog reader books. Okay. Leapfrog reader books. Yeah. <laughs> and also, I have a book right here. What does it say? I can't see. What's it called? I love my tutu. Awesome. And I can read it by myself. <laughs> That's awesome, Bree. But so. when yeah, I time to get up. Yeah. She keeps My hitting the space bar. <laughs> My book did it. All right. So, any other rapid fire questions? What's your favorite movie? Oh, that's like really put me on the spot right there. Um, my favorite cartoon movie is Up. My okay. favorite basketball movie would be Glory Road. So yeah, I'll go with Up and Glory Road. Can I, I, think, actually, uh, I ask the we- kid? Yeah, What's sure. Go for it. Your favorite movie? What's your favorite movie? Encanto. Uh, Encanto, she said. What about the- you? Carlo, you're muted, by the way. Is that the movie where they go, you don't talk about Bruno? No, no, no. no. Yep, that's the same thing Valley just said was Encanto. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Leo? What's your favorite movie? What do you think? Um, the Pokemon new movie. Ah. Oh. Okay. I have a Pikachu in it. All right. Well, Lakeisha, I think these kids are getting riled up here. <laughs> oh, you guys did a great job interviewing. Clap, clap. Good job. Great questions. <laughs> Thank you so much for being on today. We really appreciate you being here. And uh, we're really excited to come and visit you. And um, it's really inspiring everything that you're doing. 
anytime. Thank you so much for reaching out and and allowing me to be a part of this because this is going to be historic too. I I believe it as well. And I again, I just like Carlo, I harmonize with that and say thank you. I pretty much uh, am thankful that you came on, especially on a Saturday morning. It's awesome. Thank you. Thank you, guys. That's good luck today. Luck. Thank you. Stop. You don't you don't mind that we uh use some of these clips and uh and like and like put the stuff on TikTok, right? From this no, video. You guys, you guys are good. You guys do what everything. you said about that basketball on the mountain and everything was like, wow, that was that was pretty. Like I can't wait to use that one. Yeah, I had to think about it. You guys have any advice, kids, from my, my championship game today? Let's get any advice for her. What should I tell my team? Um, you are gonna win. <laughs> Okay. You have any advice for her team? They're going to play in a championship game today, and she's going to coach them. I might play. I might just play Adele in a locker room. Oh, <laughs> I'll do that. Thank you guys so much. No problem. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, you you could probably play uh, the Rise and Grind one from uh, Supreme as well. Is there that? You you, you can play a Rise and Grind by Supreme in, in the locker room today. That'll get them inspired. I will. I'll send you a video. <laughs> in fact, he's actually taking videos of people doing the Rise and Grind and calling it the Rise and Grind Challenge. So you, that might be something. Was that the dance when a girl was like this? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, try it out. <laughs> <laughs> I got a question. All right. One last question. Go ahead. Are you famous? I am not as famous as Carlo. Yeah, I'm not famous either. As Joe. <laughs> like, hey, who do you guys recommend for home inspections? I had like 50 people, right? Carlo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah it, Vitality is definitely a great home inspection company. Right. That's cool. Absolutely. We got we got a big future working together, Lakeisha. I'll see that. A lot of stuff. Absolutely. Awesome. All right. all right. We will touch base again. In the meantime, thank you all for joining us. Uh, you know, it's it's much appreciated. I think next Saturday we have um I, I think we're gonna take a break on Wednesday and we're probably gonna do the next one, which is Saturday, and we are going across the pond and across interviewing uh from England itself, Great Britain, Mr. Peter Cohen, inspirational speaker and uh, motivational speaker as well. So uh, we're, we're going international now with the Harm Globe Trotter, which was the uh, segue to uh, going across the Atlantic Ocean. International. Awesome. This is a great interview. Awesome. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Lakeisha. Thank you, Carlo. Thank you, Leo. Thank you, Valentina. Thank you, Brianna. And uh, thank you for all that are watching and have commented and interacted as well. Thank you. <laughs> See you later. Bye. See you later, everyone. Bye-bye.